pretending. Pretending that we're satisfied where we are, pretending that everything is okay, pretending that, that we don't have any special goals or ambitions or desires, when really deep down inside we do really want more. Find out what it is you want and go after it as if your life depends on it. Why? Because it does. It's time for you to look within yourself and decide that I'm in charge of my destiny. I'm in charge here, but is a dream killer that a lot of things that we want to do, a lot of places we would like to go, a lot of things we would like to experience, and we just stop at but, and we build a case. In fact, I was reading something the other day that, that talked about but. It says but is an argument for our limitations, and when we argue for our limitations, we get to keep See, but will cause you to procrastinate, but will cause you to hide out behind fear, but will cause you to come up with all type of excuses that you can validate your inaction and not acting on your dream. And right now, more than ever, people need to look for ways to live their dream. People need, need to look for ways to make it on their own. There is no such thing as job security. There's no such thing as a storm-proof or tragic-proof life. There are no guarantees today, ladies and gentlemen. The illusion is gone. There was a time when, when we graduated from high school, you were told, go to college and get out, and you go and work for a corporation for 30 or 40 years, they'll give you a go watch and you'll retire. That day is gone. That day is gone, never to return again. So instead of people living in fear, feeling stressed out, feeling powerless, feeling like victims, I think it should be a time that we need to begin to look at ways that we can become an active force in our own lives. Look at ways when we can decide to take charge of our own destiny. Look at ways when we can decide to design a life of substance and begin to truly live our dreams. And it's time for people to decide, I'm ready to get on with my life. Now, you know, a lot of people say, I'm going to live my life one day when things get right. Well, it's hard for me. How do you have you been and sit in a class yet? Have you signed up yet? No, I haven't. See, a lot of people say no, ladies and gentlemen, to things, and they don't even know what they're saying no to. To build a case on why you can't move on, why you can't grow to the next level, why you can't begin to manifest your greatness, why you can't begin to live life on your terms always something there to block you, to keep you where you are, and keep you from beginning to develop your true greatness. Always some fear. How do we handle it? And I'm saying that if you've been hiding out behind but, if you've been using the fact that you don't have enough money or you don't have the education, take it head on. Go get the education. Why don't you decide now that you're going to expand your world, that if other people can learn, you could learn too. People tell you, oh, yeah, one day I want to have a restaurant. See, they're pretending they want to go into business for themselves. They're not serious. How can you tell, Les? Watch their actions. Watch what they're doing. The proof is in the pudding. So if you want to do something, if you've thought about something you want to do, take it head on. Decide that you're going to face it, that whatever shortcomings you have, that you're going to strengthen yourself there. Whatever training that's required, that you're going to go get that training. But you're going to get started right now. Do what you can, where you are with what you have, and never be satisfied.